Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Light Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have an early intermediate uh, video cast and we are dealing with a suggestion from, let me find his name, Gabriel Daniel. Oh, hola, Gabriel. Hola, Gabriel. Me suena, nice name. Me suena su nombre. Uh -huh. And also we've got a little question from Rick Mallet as well, hola, okay? And I love that name as well. That sounds great. That's sí. like, that's Como, it. A film sí. name. Sí. Rick Mallet. Okay. So, uh, Gabriel wants us to talk about a lo mejor, quizá, quizás, tal vez. Okay? Vale. And Rick just want, has a, a, a simple question of an option of something that we were teaching. Okay? So, we'll vale. talk. Vamos a hablar de todo en la segunda parte. So, if you like what we do and you would like to support us, there are lots of ways that you can. One way you can do that is by going onto our website, looking under store and then choosing some of the courses that we have available. We have all of Cynthia's back catalogue of um, book clubs. Clubs. We have um, a subjunctive for beginners course and we also have a conjugating verbs for beginners course as well. All right, so if you go into store, you can see all the ways that you can support us. Yeah, and we really appreciate your help. Muy bien. Okay, Cynthia, let's do this quick question from Rick Mallet. Now, Rick says, do you know the expression deberías haberme lo dicho? Sí. Yeah, which is shortened to haberme lo dicho. dicho. Correcto. Yeah, which is you should have told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he says, what about habrías debido decírmelo? No. No? That is the... Eso es, are we talking in English or in Spanish? English. Uh, no, that would be grammatically incorrect. Mm -hmm. Let me read that again. Habrías, habrías decir... debido decírmelo. No, habrías debido decir... Oh, hang on, habrías debido decir... This just sounds off for some reason. Habrías debido... Habrías debido decírmelo. It, it's sounds, a... it sounds off, uh -huh. somehow. It's like the other way around, isn't it? Deberías haberme lo dicho. Habrías... Hab... Habrías debido. Habrías debido. Habrías... It sound, uh, for some reason, it sounds off to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Habrías debido decírmelo. No, I don't know. You should have ought to tell me. You should have ought to tell me. No, you should have no. You would have. You would have. No, ¿cómo sería habrías? <laughs> you you would have ought to tell me that. Mm. I don't know if I would be grammatically correct, but I wouldn't say that. No. He's asking, is it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it correct Spanish? I don't know why it sounds off. The, the answer is easy. Look at Cynthia's face. Look at Cynthia's face. That's not a Spanish that she's heard before. You haven't heard that before, have you? I don't think I have. I'm, no. I'm trying to think. Maybe in Latin America they would say that. I mean, as you told me, it sounded off. There you are. It's not something yeah. I would say or something I've heard. Certainly here in Spain, deberías haberme lo dicho. Deberías haberme lo dicho would be yeah. the way we would say it. Okay. All right. Super. But again, I don't know if that would be incorrect grammatically. When maybe, I saw maybe that, it's correct. When I saw it, I hadn't heard, although I, I can remember vaguely a long time ago this this but I haven't heard it. So it didn't sound... So I thought I wanted to see what his reaction was. I think I answered him on, on... I think I answered him. Right. Habrías debido decirme... I don't know. It sounds off. Okay. Right. So let's uh, let's look at G uh, Gabriel's... Uh, or oh, Gabriel, I should say. It's Gabriel. No. Gabriel. Gabriel. Um, so he says... Uh, no, but Gabriel. We say Gabriel. And Gabriel. That's, that's the boy's name. Exactly. Gabriel. Gabriel. Ah, okay, yeah, man. yeah. But yes, I know. But if I say it, if I say it in ah. is English, it sounds like a girl's name, but it's not. Ah, because we would have Gabriela. Gabriela. Uh -huh. We'll be the girl and Gabriel. And Gabriel. Is, uh, for yeah. Okay. Man. Yeah. So Gabriel. And Spanish. Gabriel Daniel. We would say Gabriel Daniel. Daniel. Uh -huh. In Spanish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's asking to first to to talk about the difference between a lo mejor, quizá, quizás, and tal vez. Yeah. Vale. So, let's start with the basic. They all mean perhaps. Perhaps. They exactly. all translate as perhaps. Vale. Yeah. First off, quizá and quizás, no difference whatsoever. You it's choose. Like you choose what you or like. Either. You choose. If you want to say quizás, 
o quizá there's just no difference mm -hmm. vale eh, with quizá quizás and tal vez we tend to use subjunctive mm. and with a lo mejor we don't use subjunctive we use Never. indicative yeah yeah So this is an that interesting would be the point. Eh? <laughs> that would be the difference. <laughs> that would be the difference. The, the use of subjunctive or... What happens is we, we've got three three levels. You've got a lo mejor, always the indicative. A lo, a lo mejor vienen. Yeah, always, never the subjunctive. With quizá and quizás, this is option where you can play with it and you can use the indicative for it to be a more certain maybe and use the subjunctive for it to be a more uncertain maybe. However, that's that's an option, but I rarely hear people using quizá with the indicative. It, I have heard it, but most times it's used with the subjunctive, isn't it? I mean, I think uh, if we're talking about grammatically correct, I think it would it would take subjunctive. Mm. I think when people don't use a subjunctive with quizá is to make it sound um, more possible, more likely uh -huh. than with subjunctive that sounds it's a possibility but not a probability like for example qui, qui, quizá lo sabe o quizá lo sepa claro, quizá ya lo sepa o quizá ya lo sabe quizá ya lo sepa sounds mm, possible quizás ya lo sabe sounds probable yeah. yeah that would be the difference yeah but for exams I would go for subjunctive sure. always quizá, quizás Plus subjunctive. Mm -hmm. Tal vez, plus subjunctive. Tal vez is not. It, it, you, uh, you don't hear people flipping. It's always a subjunctive. Tal yes. vez. Yeah? And then a lo mejor, for some reason, uh, we use it with the indicative. Mm -hmm. A lo mejor ya lo sabe. A lo mejor mañana llueve. A lo mejor llega tarde porque hay tráfico. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo. ¿Sí? So, give me the first example. A lo mejor. Ya lo sabe. And so, quizá ya lo sepa. Quizá ya lo sepa. The next one that you did, a lo mejor... Tal vez. Ah, oh, en tal vez ya lo sepa. Sí, pero luego a, a lo mejor you eh, did a list, I'm just trying to remember no what sé, you said. A now. lo mejor eh, llega tarde porque so, hay tráfico. So, and then quizá llegue tarde. So, a lo mejor llega, quizá llegue. O tal sí. vez llegue. Yeah. So, that's the only difference. Advice to everybody, not just to Daniel, uh, no, to Gabriel Daniel. Don't use a lo mejor all of the time to avoid using a subjunctive, okay? It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. And and I know we would, and, and I think I did for a bit. Oh, a lo mejor, I don't need to use the subjunctive. The thing I'm, is, subjunctive is unavoidable. Yeah. You may avoid it here, and then it'll pop up. 10 seconds later in exactly. another sentence so exactly it's not something that you can avoid it's not like i'm going to avoid that word that you, because i don't know how to pronounce it you know yeah. maybe that can happen yeah yeah oh absolutely but, but a whole tense like subjunctive you can't no you, you can't work around it i mean no. we don't know if that's the case no 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 uh, but but i have heard i mean Gabriel, it, or across the years i've heard a lot of I've had a lot of questions from students asking yes. about the shortcut. skipping the shortcut, <laughs> the skipping around the subjunctive. Yes. Is it right that I don't need to use the subjunctive with this? Well, I'll use that. What what happens is then you end up with a weird Spanish because we, uh, Spanish uses the subjunctive all the time. And if you try and find ways around the subjunctive, you end up with a weird, unnatural Spanish. Yeah? I had a student a long time ago that came over once when I was teaching at home came over and said to me, right, can you, uh, and she had the, the books, you know, with the, all the tenses. Mm -hmm. And she said to me, uh, tell me which ones you use and which ones you don't use so I don't have to bother <laughs> learning them. And I was like, mm, all of them. <laughs> all of them. There's only one tense all that appears that, that isn't used. I only, I, I only said, you know, the, the future in subjunctive. Like yeah. fuere, yeah. hiciere, that and the, we don't use. But... It doesn't um, show up in that. Uh, hubo habido, that that kind of that that. Well, hubo habido is like two different. Like the no, verb, but you know when we I, say había habido, yeah, and there's that other tense which is the uh, which is used the preterite instead of the había, and that, that isn't really used. Would well, you can't skip around like 
What tens? You, you don't use no, think but that it just one, doesn't. That one, that one doesn't it's exist. Just... Um, yes, and I I learned that that problem severely when I went to Mexico and somebody said, uh, we we only use ustedes here. Don't bother with the vosotros. Oh I'm yeah, great, I've, had, I've had people like that super, as well. Super. I'm gonna learn Spanish from Latin America, so I don't have to learn vosotros. Okay. Then, then something happens in your life, <laughs> and suddenly you've got a Spanish partner, and you've got to start all again. So just don't. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Keep your mind open. If you come to Spain, keep your mind open to the possibility of actually using a Spanish accent. Because I had to spend three months reading out loud from a book to get my accent changed. It wasn't that on purpose I avoid the Spanish accent. No, I was in Mexico. But to actually change your accent, it's going to take a big job, especially if you're in habits. I remember when you used to Every day for three months, yeah. Yeah. Nice to... (laughs) And I, I used to say, Cynthia, listen, 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 <laughs> listen to how I'm going. Yeah, no, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But why, uh, you, why did you do that? Are you mocking the Spanish accent? Yeah. Uh, that's how. That's if you watch. If you watch a Spanish person speaking with no noise on, you're going to be thinking that. Well, going, you see tongues mm, 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 sticking yeah. out like, like yeah. snakes. Yeah. Yeah, all the time. Oh yeah, like uh, that, that woman. No, like <laughs> I can speak Spanish. <laughs> So, there you have it. Bueno, Cintia, eh, vale. para terminar, eh, un minuto en español, ¿no? La sí. semana que viene... La semana que viene estamos de en curso. Torrejón de curso. Sí, estamos haciendo el curso de inmersión de octubre. El, el último de el, este año. El último del año 2022. Uh-huh. Y ya no habrá cursos hasta abril del 2023. Y sí, y, eh, entonces hacemos cuatro cursos al, al año. Sí. El padre de Cintia quiere que hagamos un curso cada mes. <risa> en invierno, me eh, da igual. Y le hemos, eh, le hemos dicho que no, porque cuatro son suficientes, ¿verdad? Para y nosotros. Creo que son buenas fechas, eh, sí. el clima está bien todavía, uh-huh. eh, sí. hace un poquito de fresquito ahora en octubre, pero se está bien, es agradable. Sí, está bien. Sí, sí. El año que viene ya eh, los dos cursos de abril y de mayo ya la, la, los tenemos por, por la mitad ya. Muy bien. Sí, entonces son sí, mejor con cuatro que ya podemos llenan, llenar los... La verdad es que se llenan rápido los sí. cursos, uh-huh. eh, que está bien. Es sí. que sabes qué pasa, que viene gente nueva, pero mucha gente viene re- repetidora de sí. otros cursos, entonces sí. <risa> siempre tenemos... Gente que repite cursos de un año a otro o dos claro. años. Tuvimos eh. un, un descanso de eso durante esos años, pero ahora ya veo que, por ejemplo, el grupo de mayo de este año eh, vuelve el año que viene, claro. en mayo. Sí, ¿no? está o bien. Muchos eh. de, de buena grupo. señal. Buena sí, señal. Sí. Si repiten, es buena claro, señal. Claro, claro, sí. Muy bien, muy bien. Entonces, Cintia, ahora no, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.